Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And the footage in the background is from a live stream from a couple of months ago, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna let that uh, play in the background as I talk about whatever. And whatever this week is uh, probably already in the title and that is that I failed my driving test. <laughs> I still don't have a driver's license. Oh, I'm so sad. I really thought I would do better because the lessons themselves have been going really well. Like, no mistakes basically. And it's in the exact same areas as the actual test. And for some reason, well, not some reason. I, I was really nervous. <laughs> That's uh, most likely the reason. But yeah, I drew really badly. Drew? No, drove. Drewed? No, drove. English. <laughs> I drove really poorly. Um, like I made a ton of little, little mistakes that uh, added up to feeling like I couldn't even drive at all. <laughs> like uh, even just leaving the parking lot from the place where you take the driving test, it's like a little bit of an uphill where you have to stop and join a, a pretty busy road where you have to like wait for a spot to come into and it's like in a curve so you can't really see very far. And uh, I've actually driven from there before on like a different lesson and it went well like it was probably my second driving lesson ever or maybe the third one and it was no problem but this time i stalled not once not twice but three times in it before i was able to actually get out of the freaking parking lot <laughs> like uh, starting the car or like getting it running properly from uh, uphill is has been really easy for me you know keeping the brake and raising the clutch and releasing the brake in the right spot was like something i learned really easily <laughs> and now for some reason i couldn't even figure it out at all and uh, like i would raise the clutch way too fast or forget to release the brake so that it would like stall completely and once the whole car shut down <laughs> Oh, it was so embarrassing, and it was like right in the beginning. And of course, after that, I was like so nervous that I just kept doing all the mistakes. Like I drew, drove too close to like the side of the road, and too close to parked cars. And uh, on like one-way streets, I would uh, turn to the right-hand side of the lane, or like if there were two lanes, I would uh, turn to the right-hand side instead of the left hand side lane like you're supposed to and uh, I feel like I did something else on the one way streets but I don't even remember all the little things and then the one bigger mistake that I know like alright I did not pass <laughs> like you're allowed to make a few small mistakes but I think I made even too many small mistakes to ever be able to pass but then I also almost ran a right light, red light, and <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> and it wasn't even um, like a silly mistake, like people drive too fast to a light and then they don't have time to stop. I ran a red light in a tiny little street where there was construction on. And it was like 20 km kilometers in an hour that you were allowed to drive and it was like a one lane and no other cars, no people. And uh, I was like driving at 10 kilometers an hour really carefully and I didn't even see that there was a light standing there. <laughs> so it's like super slowly, like a uh, walking speed almost, driving up to it and... <laughs> Suddenly the, you know, test person or the driving 
inspector person just pressed his uh, you know brakes and was like oh you just ran the red light and <laughs> I was like, what? And then I looked to the side and oh yeah, there was a red light that I didn't even see. And it wasn't even hidden. I just, for some reason, I focused so much on the construction stuff that was going on on the road that I didn't even re see it there. <laughs> so yeah, at that point I knew that there was no way I could pass because that's like the number one rule, like if the person has to touch the brakes or anything else then you lose, or not lose, the, you fail and uh, that was like in the first 15 minutes of the <laughs> test that takes an hour I did all of the mistakes in that little short period of time and after that uh, everything went well because then I stopped being nervous because you know, he didn't tell me that I failed, obviously, because you're supposed to drive the whole hour anyway. But, like, I knew that I failed. <laughs> and after that, I wasn't nervous anymore because I knew there was. I didn't have to prove anything anymore, and therefore everything went well. Drew around the highways and all the little uh, small and big intersections and the big six lane streets and everything, and everything was fine, and. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, next time, next time better. I feel like I couldn't do anything properly. No, actually I did do one thing properly. Actually two things I got uh, positive feedback from. I drew constantly with a good speed, like not too slow, not too fast, always perfectly with the speed limits. And uh, the other one was that I was perfect at uh, being careful about the pedestrians like I saw every single old lady construction worker 20 year person glued to their cell phone who was stepping in front of the car all the time so there was no nothing negative about that part of my driving so that's that's good I guess <laughs> so yay I'm a uh, donkey at the driving a car apparently but at least i'm not a danger to pedestrians <laughs> uh, and i don't drive too fast so that's good i guess my next attempt is in one month that's kind of a long way from now but apparently that was the fast that you could get the second attempt like usually I've heard that people get their second attempt within like a few days or a week at most but apparently this summer it's really busy over there like the testing place don't know why but uh, it is unfortunately so it's a month from now and I have a couple of more driving lessons before it and the next one is in three weeks <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really know I'm I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to forget everything in three weeks. Uh, it's kind of a big break to have a, not have any any driving in between, but uh, maybe it will work out. Maybe I'll do some mental exercises, think about driving or something. Maybe that will help to keep the memories fresh in my mind. Oh, and it's gonna cost me like 500 euros to do the test again plus the two driving lessons. <laughs> it's so expensive! Ah, oh well. But the positive point is that now I have several weeks where I don't have to spend time on it anymore and that's nice. <laughs> Since it always takes like seven hours every time I go to the city and back to do the driving lessons. So it's, um, it's a significant amount of time and it's uh, gonna be nice to have that time back to spend on work again. It's been uh, annoying. <laughs> and if I fail the next one, then oh well, I'll just keep trying. Just have to learn to not be so nervous. Says I, who has not learned it in the last 20 years. <laughs> ah. Anyway, um, other than that, hasn't been much going on. Uh, the comics obviously back from the chapter break, so everything is as normal with that. And uh, I've been already spending a little bit of time fixing up my studio. Uh, 
I took a little bit of video footage of it before I started doing anything. So I'll be able to do like a little before renovation studio tour sometime soon. Probably mm, maybe next week. I just need a SD card reader to get the video of my of my camera. <laughs> my current computer doesn't have a card reader in it. I guess it's uh, too modern? I don't know, are SD cards going out of fashion or something? Maybe they are. Maybe things are moving into like wireless or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's something I've been working on. And uh, I mean, I haven't done a lot. I just uh, deconstructed the ugly cabinets and like shelving that was left over in there from the previous people and then I painted one wall and it looks really nice it really shows how dirty and gross and yellow the old wall paint was like it says uh, like pen drawing markings on it all over the place as if uh, children had been there like just drawing on the walls in a really weird way <laughs> and uh, yeah, it is like yellow and grey to begin with and uh, now the one wall is looking really really nice and I'm really happy about that. And uh, I removed a door and a door frame that was just in the way. I'll make it look a little bit nicer and uh, it will be a little bit of a wider doorway without the door frame in there. And uh, did I do anything else? Yes, I removed some cables that were left over from back when the studio used to be a bank office. There was a ton of like uh, security camera cables and uh, that kind of stuff. Like dozens of cables <laughs> all over the place. So I, any cables where I like found both ends of it somewhere in the building or the room space, I would like uh, cut them up and rip them out. So now there are way less ugly cables hanging around the place. And it's looking really, really nice. Well, not really nice, it's uh, looking uh, <laughs> like a do-it-yourself uh, construction site currently, but uh, it's looking tidier as uh, far as walls and uh, around the roof area goes without uh, so many cables and ugly stuff around. Um, but that's what I'm working on. It's been really relaxing. It's what I do instead of going for a walk in the evening. I go over there for an hour and just do something like one task every evening and it's really, really relaxing. I really enjoy doing it. And it's gonna be so much fun having a space I can go to just paint art in do some traditional watercolors or something. Oh, I'm so excited to get to actually buy some <laughs> new paints or at least uh, go through my old ones and see which ones are still usable and then replace the ones that uh, aren't. I haven't bought any art supplies in uh, probably eight years or something. Paints I don't think I bought in ten years at least. The last set is like a, was like a set of acrylics, I think, when I was like 18 or something. <laughs> I'm sure they've already like dried up completely, the tubes. So, we'll see. But yeah, that's, uh, that's everything, I think. Uh, working on studio and failing driving tests. That's what I've been doing the last week. And drawing comics, of course. And... Um, I will see you all um, next week for the next video, whatever that will be. Either a studio tour or just another, um, another one of these painting and talking kind of videos. And thanks for watching. And of course all my social medias and the link to webcomic are in the description. Yes. Alright. Bye.